Today, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this equation, the absolute value of the absolute value of x plus 1 plus 2 equals 5, then the goal is to find all possible values of x that satisfies this equation. Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given this equation, the goal is to find all possible values of x that satisfies this equation. Now, one thing is for sure, this absolute value tells us that the distance of the number inside the absolute value is the distance of that number to 0. Therefore, the distance cannot be a negative number. So it's always a positive number. So now, let's start with the outside absolute value. And from here, we have two possible cases. The first one is this number inside of it is simply equal to positive 5. Or, case number 2, this number inside the absolute value simply equal to negative 5. Because, again, if we get the absolute value of negative 5, we still get positive 5. Because this is just the distance of negative 5 to 0. Alright? Now, let's have these two cases. And what we're going to do here is to subtract 2 on both sides. So, your absolute value of x plus 1 equals 3. In the second case, let's subtract 2 on both sides. So we have absolute value of x plus 1 equals negative 7. Now notice, absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to negative 7, which is not possible because absolute value, again, is the distance of that number to 0. So therefore, the value of the absolute value is always positive. Now we have a negative 7, therefore we don't get any possible values of x in this case. Alright, so this case is not possible. Alright, so now let's continue to case number 1. So again, we have absolute value of x plus 1 equals 3. Now, we have again two possible cases here. So let's have case 1.1, wherein this x plus 1 equals to positive 3. Or the other case, case 1.2, x plus 1, this expression inside the absolute value equals negative 3. And now, to solve for the value of x in this first case, let's subtract 1 on both sides. So we get x equals positive 2. And on the second case, if we subtract 1 on both sides, we get x equals negative 4. And there you have it. So we found two possible values of x that satisfies this equation. Now let's check if x equals 2 is technically a solution to this equation. Now if x is 2, we have 2 plus 1, which is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. The absolute value of 5 simply equal to 5. So 2 is correct. Now how about negative 4? If x equals to negative 4, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. Positive 3 plus 2 is positive 5. The absolute value of positive 5 is positive 5. Again. So again, x equals negative 4 is also a solution to this equation. Therefore, given this equation, the absolute value of the absolute value of x plus 1 plus 2 equals 5, then we found two possible values of x. We have x equals 2 and x equals negative 4. By the way, this is the checking that I've said earlier. So you see, we have 5 equals 5 if x equals 2 and if x is negative 4, we have 5 equals 5. So there you have it. So our answer to this question, x equals 2 or x equals negative 4. And as always, we are done.